Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the hero guide for FC Chatty. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. I'm so glad to be back um, recording a video. It's been three days. I've been so busy with work, with school, and with other things. So we'll start with her hero profile. So she hails from the nation Estoris Republic. Her element is nature. Her position is defense and her attack type is physical. So stat wise for Chatty, uh, for FC Chatty, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just uh, getting used to her. Um, she's all grown up. She's now a big cat. <laughs> she, she has a big mace of a cat. So I'm just uh, I'm just um, not uh, haven't adjusted yet to how she looks like, but she looks good actually. She has above average HP. She has average defense. Uh, she has average hit, average dodge, and average block. So for her weakness, she has low attack. She has low. Um, sorry, below average crit hit, and she has low attack speed. So if you can see with Chatty's stats, she's pretty much on the you know in in the mid tier or average side in terms of stats, um, and she actually um, is is okay with that because um, all you need for her is to have um, good defense and good HP for her to be. Um, you know be maximized in your team so let's move on to her skills so for chatty skills um she still has protect three so grant share health to ally with lowest maximum heal health and heals their a health by 30 percent of the caster's current health at the beginning of the round so can't be removed she is actually a good substitute for Garf in this regard because she also has shared health so she can she can actually function in the role of Garf so she also has Dragon Knight blessing so increase damage dealt to dragons with the dragon scale of order activated by 250% so over time effect she has decreased the in the the enhanced dragon fang effect used by nature element dragon of order by 20 percent so she's good with with the with the holy holy dragon grounds and she has her new her new passive which is dimension leap so mark increased dodge for self by 40 and attack by 1000 when attack all dimension leap mark for self are removed after a successful dodge stacks up to four times I, I'm a bit distracted by what she's doing. So let's proceed to her S1. So if you can see her S1, the animation of her S1. So increases own maximum health by 40% for 8 turns. Grants a barrier equal to 17% of own maximum health to all allies. So this is similar in terms of mana count versus her original uh, form. So it's also three, and it's called Mighty Chessy. The difference is just that what you call this. So increases own maximum health by forty percent. Okay. So for this skill, there's an there's an additional bonus of increasing um forty percent of max health, but the barrier that she gives is only seventeen percent, versus to a forty percent with her original form. So you have to scale up her health for you to 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 at least get, get, get the maximum effect for this one. At least you have the opportunity. That is why later I'll, I'll show you how to increase this one. So we'll move to her S2. So as you look at the animation, it's pretty much better than what we had before. She's all grown up. She has more moves and what a move she has. Bigger hammer, bigger damage. And speaking of bigger damage, she really does deal a bigger damage. Now her damage is at 375% damage to one enemy. Before it was at 187%. So I think it just doubled in terms of damage. And also 
um, the skill before uh, her S2 uh, dealt, uh, sorry, had a status effect uh, with sleep for four turns. Now it's a stun for six turns. This is also a four mana skill similar to her previous um, S2 for her regular form. I just want to touch um, more, uh, touch uh, a little bit on her unleashed potential because for her S1 you need to enhance her enhance her HP. So all you have to do is um, first finish the stamina tree, which gives you HP here and here, and all the way down to give you this one. So reduces all allies damage by 15%. So it it gives allies another 15% damage of um, what do you call this? Uh, damage reduction. And for the next um, for the next tree, I suggest you go through the the defense tree because um, the final one on each potential skill is deals additional 60% of own defense when attack. So increase her defense as well. Through this one, this one, and this one. So defense, and also for the leech potential of her S one, it also um, it also um, is reliant on defense as well. Increase own defense for six turns by fifty percent of own defense. Okay. By the way, guys, um, just a friendly reminder for those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel. Now is the best time to to subscribe. Um, I put out daily content, um, not really daily, but on, mostly on a five-day week content for you guys, um, for you to get um, updated content on XO Zeros. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so for Chad's playability, um, I would not really recommend her for PvP. Uh, because her main her main um, her main duty is to give barriers and right now we have two of the most um, you know annoying uh, heroes and very good heroes in the game namely Iris FC Iris and FC shell that removes barriers so I won't recommend her for PvP but for PvE I would really recommend her especially in Holy Dragon grounds the chapters, um, if you have problem finishing the chapters, Upers Lab is also a good place for her if you're looking to protect your heroes, and also she's good in the core raid as well if you're if you're also looking to protect your heroes. Okay, so for your recommended guardian stones, I would highly recommend two sets. First is your nature set for your equipped set effects which gives her dodge of maximum of plus 20 and when you awaken her with your um, nature set effect you got you get a max of plus 2000 hp plus a dodge rate of plus 12 but i would highly recommend the second one which is your fire set effect so for your equip set effects so she will have a total damage reduction of maxi maximum of uh, twenty percent, and when she is awakened with fire set, you get a maximum of five thousand HP, which contributes a lot to her S one skill. So again, it's up to you on how you want to build Chatty for this one. So for synergy with other heroes. Um, Chatty is actually really, really good in protecting the back row, and she actually has shared shared health um, to the lowest uh, HP among your heroes. So again, she's good with low health heroes in which they're fast and usually they have low health. Also, she synergizes well with heroes that give her additional health, like, like for example, um, Garf. Um, Garf actually gives her additional health, so. Those will actually help her in giving bigger shields and also tank for herself. So for my overall rating, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest. So we'll start with her stats. So I would give her a 3.5 in terms of stats because um, 
Although she has average stats, she's actually that. She's just she just has average stats most of the time. She doesn't have really high stats. She only has one above average stat. And um, it's actually doesn't it actually doesn't matter because all she needs to be, you know, she all the stat that, that she needs to be boosted is only HP and defense. Let's move on to her playability. So for playability in terms of content, I'll give her a 3.5 as well because number one, she's a liability in PvP, but on the flip side, you could actually use her in a lot of content in PvE. She's a very good support for PvE content, especially the dragon. So I've used her before and I haven't really, you know, set her up well because, because I didn't like her the what do you call this the limitations of her original form but now i think you could you could you could um give her a lot more a lot more what do you call this a lot more chance in terms of using her with the dragon as for synergy um i would give her a five because she doesn't have any she does she doesn't have any real limitations in terms of who you'll bring with her or who you will who who will she join in terms of a team you can put her in any team um, to maximize her you put her in front then four at the back so that she can cover all of the heroes at the back so i'm sure she's better now with more improved stat and usually um she actually goes last wherein she applies her barrier before the enemy's turn and now for my final thoughts, she's a very good defense hero. Um, again, she's a very good good substitute for Garf, and f to give uh, what they call this to give Barrier the back row, and also for shared health. So all you have to do is increase her HP, defense, and the last thing if you need to increase her dodge. Um, for you to maximize her Barrier, just increase her HP. And also to maximize her increase uh, an each potential, you need to improve her defense as well. Shared health is actually important and very underrated in this game. So try to try to assign a lowest HP hero to her. Okay, guys, this concludes my video. I'm so excited to create a video after three days. I've been so busy, but I promise I'll keep on bringing you good content here at Warden Mobile Gaming. Y'all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.